hard to believe jacking the security network was that easy. All clear, all quiet. Confirmed. Updated as you were. Control. Over. Copy that. Confirm. AO clear. All right, guys, I'm inside the reception hall. Got eyes on some of the guards, but there's no telling which one has the key card. Well, you'll find it soon enough, mate, because you need to take them all out. Can't have anyone in the weeds, yeah? And do it quietly. I'm close to your position now. I'll see you soon. I would have thought to David. Hold on, maybe. Well, I can't believe it. They may be out of favor, but many still like to see lens creepers. Maybe. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted.
Benson, how are you making out? No luck yet. One of them's got to have that key card. Search them well. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. Took down another guard. Still got nothing. I'll keep looking. Copy that. Still got nothing, I'll keep looking. Copy that. I took down another guard. Still got nothing, I'll keep looking. Copy that. Granted. Took down another guard. Still got nothing. I'll keep looking. Copy that. Card. 
Should be in the catering area soon. You guys copy? <coughs> Miller! Jensen! You there! Fucking stairwells were rigged with tripwires! Are you okay? Is it the bombs? <coughs> no, negative. Just some low yield shit. I'm fine. Look. Uh, I gotta work around this debris. It's gonna take me a while longer to reach you. No worries, I got this one. Just be safe. And Jensen, listen. We're lucky I didn't fuck it all with the racket I made, so you need to make sure the reception hall is cleared before you press on. Yeah? Mac out. All right, Miller, McCree. Inside catering. Jensen, I think my comms might still be fucked after that stairwell explosion. Are you getting anything from Miller? Hang on. Miller, you hearing us? Jesus Christ, this whole fucking building's gone daffy. Wouldn't be surprised if it's in the air. Well, look, I can read you fine, so just keep me posted. Creedy. Miller's hurt. Bad. I need backup in the catering area. Jensen, Christ. <sighs> Don't try to move, Jim. Help you be on its way soon. No. No. Forget about me. <sighs> You've got to find Brown. Warn him. The, the gold mask. They, they poisoned the champagne. Send it to meeting rooms. Beyond the, the reception hall. Oh. I tried to stop her, but I ended up here. <sighs> Cree, the orchid is in play. We need to. Ah! You should be dead, Adam Jensen. Instead, you show up here with your comrades in tow, forcing me to adapt to the situation. To so poisoning Brown and the delegates, that's your plan B? Sorry, brother, it's not gonna work. You only see a piece of the picture. Maybe you can save those rich bastards. Maybe in some grand hypothetical future, doing so will erase the damage that has been done, restoring liberty and balance, improving the lives of millions of augmented people like us. But tonight, because of you, hundreds of men, women, and children must be sacrificed. Because of your interference, I had to place explosives in the residential towers across the way. I can send a detonation signal at any time. But if you come to the exhibition hall right now, maybe I won't have to. We can avoid another unnecessary tragedy, brother. Provided you don't take too long to reach me. McCready. Bombs. I heard. I don't know if I'll find him in time, but I'm already on it. Fucking hell! Shit.
Something's wrong, Mr. Jensen. Brown and his guests are in danger. I... I no longer have eyes on them. Marchenko's threatening to blow up hundreds of innocent people in the store. Only hundreds? If Brown and his guests die, billions of augmented people will be stripped of all rights and classified as less than human. You cannot let that future occur, can you? Why have you not come? Is your faith in hypotheticals truly that strong? Apparently not. You have made the right choice, brother. Why should so many die so loudly when a far more subtle message can be sent? To achieve my mission, I only need Brown and his guests to die. And you, of course. Now show yourself! I'm right here, Victor. Where did you... We can avoid another unnecessary tragedy. Isn't that what you said? You surrender now. I will give the kill switch to you. You'll spend the rest of your days in prison. But the hold your masters have on you will end. A nice dream. But we both know there is no escape from these men. I am a soldier, brother. I accept my fate.
McCready, bomb threats neutralized. Marchenko's dead. First fucking good news I've heard all day. What about Brown and the delegates? I'm heading to the meeting room now, but chances are it's too late. I'll let you know. Jensen out. number on me. better pay us as much as they said. No trouble. Not yet anyway. Five until clean up. Initiated. Access granted.
Totally. Granted. As we consider the importance of this moment on a national level, on a global level, on a humanitarian Nobody level... Nobody drink. The champagne's been poisoned. But I had it replaced. It's a cuvée de prestige. You and your guests need to get out of Apex Center now, Brown. Slater's dead. Tarvos is compromised. They've come to stop you. Can you get everyone to the helipad? Yes, yes, of course. My security team will escort us, but what about the other attendees? I'm afraid there have already been casualties, Brown. But I'm going after the people who did this. Then you have a long way to climb. Nathaniel Brown took to the stage today to praise Interpol and Tarvis Security Services for thwarting what could have been a major terror attack during his Safe Harbor Convention last week. 
Interpol has confirmed that a group of radical terrorists linked to the Augmented Rights Coalition wired the residential towers surrounding Apex Center with enough explosives to destroy two city blocks. As shocking as that fact turns out to be, Brown had only this controversial opinion to give. We must not make rash decisions based on fear, nor should we allow a vocal minority to dictate our future. The Human Restoration Act is a perversion of all the United Nations stands for. In time, I believe saner minds on the Security Council will prevail. Strong words from a man with an even stronger bank account. Let us see if his prediction proves true. This is Eliza Cus Hey, are you even listening to this? Live we won! From Pike. Did we? <laughs> we completely disrupted their plan. Marchenko, the orchid, the bombs. <sighs> We've been under too long, man. It's time to come up for air. Take a breath. <sighs> Janus messaged me last night, said Brown's been lobbying like a champ. He and the people you saved know the act isn't a solution. Ficus will talk around it as long as they can, but that thing is finished. Janus always seems to have the inside track. Except when it really matters. Miller, right? I'm sorry, Adam. I really did think he was working for the Illuminati. For a while, we both did. By the time I realized he was innocent. We can't change the past. We have to keep going. What are you thinking? How many more plans do they have in motion? How many more soldiers like Marchenko are waiting for the call? <laughs> Don't call him a soldier. He was a thug, man. Soldiers have a code of honor. Soldiers follow orders, too. He was prepared to obey his, no matter the consequences. Sounds like you're sorry he's dead. He made his choice, I made mine. Regardless, we want the men behind him. Behind the Human Restoration Act. The ones still out there in the shadows. It's time for me to start pulling them into the light. Well, now we got names. Manderley and Paige. The Collective won't stop until we bring these guys down. Yeah? Well, there's one more name I want to put a face to. Janus. So that's what you've been chewing on. Look, I'll try, Adam, but I already told you he doesn't like meetings that aren't on his terms. Then give him a choice. Either he sets up a meeting face to face, or I find him myself. I think it's high time we met the man behind the mask, Alex. Don't you? A woman believed to have made the bombs that ripped through Ruzika train station earlier this week has been found dead in Prague. Authorities in the city tell me that an extensive investigation, conducted in part by members of Interpol, led them to the apartment of Alison Stanek, an ex-army demolition specialist who they believe may have been working with Ark. Police gained entry to Ms. Stanek's housing complex shortly after neighbors began complaining about power outages. They found the bodies of Stanek and dozens of augmented cultists inside, dead by apparent mass suicide. A coroner's report released in Prague today offers shocking new insight into the death of Dr. Talis Rucker, former leader of the Augmented Rights Coalition. Apparently, the primary cause of the doctor's death was the exceedingly high level of alcohol found in his system. No other toxins were present, nor were there signs of any suspicious activity. Sources close to Rucker tell me he had been struggling with alcoholism ever since becoming a public figure. I am sure I do not need to remind you folks that the organization he founded, the Augmented Rights Coalition, has been linked to last week's horrifying terror attack in London. It seems not so long ago that Dr. Talis Rucker was on this very program, trying to convince all of us that his Augmented Rights Coalition was a non-violent organization. Today, of course, we are all a little bit wiser. It did not take long for ARC to reveal its true colors once Dr. Rucker was dead. Since last week's attack, the United Nations has officially labeled ARC a terrorist organization. As we speak, brave state police officers in the Czech Republic are raiding ARC-controlled compounds inside the Udalek complex. Here is an example of the defiance they are encountering. This... this is where you have it all wrong. Wrong! ARC! was framed. You people, you don't see, you don't realize that 
Viktor Marchenko was not Ark. He was trying to kill Ark, kill the cause. But he has failed. We are strong, we are innocent, and we will not be used as pawns by rich, scared men who want to make us less than human. I am sorry, young man, but methinks thou doth protest too much. The Diwali criminal organization is under intense scrutiny this evening for their role in the London attack. Evidence uncovered by Interpol indicates that high-ranking members of the chapter in Prague supplied weapons and logistical support to ARC terrorists. Among those being sought for questioning is Radic Nikoladze, leader of the Diwali's Prague chapter. Sources close to the man tell me, however, that Nikoladze has gone off the grid and it is unlikely he will ever be found. An indication of guilt, perhaps? Join the online discussion and let us know what you think.